Donald King was born on August 20, 1931 in Cleveland, Ohio, where he attended school and graduated from John Adams High in 1951. After dropping out of Kent State University, he ran an illegal bookmaking operation out of the basement of a record store on Kinsman Road and was charged with killing two men in incidents 13 years apart. The first was determined to be justifiable homicide after it was found that King shot Hillary Brown in the back and killed him while he was attempting to rob one of King's gambling houses in 1954. In 1967, King was convicted of second-degree murder for the second killing after he was found guilty of stomping to death an employee, Sam Garrett, who owed him $600. While he served his term at the Marion Correctional Institution, he began self-education, according to his own words, he read everything in the prison library he could get his hands on. Having been released in 1972, King was pardoned in 1983 by Ohio Governor Jim Rhodes, with letters from Jesse Jackson, Coretta Scott King, George Voinovich, Art Modell, and Gabe Paul, among others, being written in support of King. He is an American boxing promoter, known for his involvement in several historic boxing matchups. King's career highlights include, among multiple other enterprises, promoting The Rumble in the Jungle and The Thrilla in Manila. King has promoted some of the most prominent names in boxing, including Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, George Foreman, Larry Holmes, Tomasz Adamek, Roberto Duran, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Chris Bird, John Ruiz, Julio Cesar Chavez, Ricardo Mayorga, Andrew Galota, Bernard Hopkins, Felix Trinidad, Roy Jones Jr., Azuma Nelson, Gerald McClellan, Marco Antonio Barrera, Salvador Sanchez, Wilfred Benitez, Wilfredo Gomez and Christy Martin. Some of these boxers sued him for allegedly defrauding them. Mike Tyson was quoted as saying, he did more bad to black fighters than any white promoter ever in the history of boxing. King has been charged with killing two people in incidents 13 years apart. In 1954, King shot a man in the back after spotting him trying to rob one of his gambling houses, this incident was ruled a justifiable homicide. In 1967, King was convicted of voluntary manslaughter for stomping one of his employees to death. For this, he served three years and 11 months in prison. Donald King stands tall at 6 feet 2 inches, 188.0 centimeters. Don King boasts an estimated net worth of about $150 million. About Don King personal life. Don King's wife, Henrietta, died on December 2, 2010, at the age of 87. They had one biological daughter, Debbie, a son, Eric and adopted son Carl, five grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. King is politically active and supported Barack Obama in the 2008 and 2012 presidential elections. During the previous election, he had made media appearances promoting George W. Bush, which had included attendance at the 2004 Republican National Convention in New York City. On June 10, 1987, King was made a Masonatsite by Grand Master Odes J. Kyle Jr. of the Most Worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Ohio, thereby making him a Prince Hall Freemason. In the following year, he was awarded an Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree from Central State University in Wilberforce, Ohio, by University President Dr. Arthur E. Thomas. King has conducted an annual turkey giveaway each Christmas for several years, in which he distributes 2,000 free turkeys to needy South Floridians. Don King, the renowned American boxing promoter, is known for his involvement in historic boxing matchups. However, his philanthropic efforts have also left a lasting impact. Here are some key points about Don King's philanthropy. Don King was recognized by the National Endowment for the Arts as a National Heritage Fellow in 1991. His exceptional craftsmanship in leather tooling, particularly the creation of the Sheridan-style saddle, earned him this prestigious honor. In September 1998, three streets in Newark, New Jersey, Irvington, New Jersey, and Orange, New Jersey, were renamed Don King Plaza in recognition of his decades-long business and philanthropic contributions. Don King and his wife have supported the Stanford King Center, which focuses on global poverty research. Additionally, they are founding donors of Stanford Seed, an initiative that partners with entrepreneurs in emerging markets to build thriving enterprises and transform lives. Don King's legacy extends beyond the boxing ring, reflecting his commitment to both craftsmanship and community impact. About Don King Professional Career King entered the boxing world after convincing Muhammad Ali to box in a charity exhibition for a local hospital in Cleveland with the help of singer Lloyd Price. Early on he formed a partnership with a local promoter named Don Elbaum, who already had a stable of fighters in Cleveland and years of experience in boxing. 
1974, King negotiated to promote a heavyweight championship fight between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman in Zaire, popularly known as the Rumble in the Jungle. The fight between Ali and Foreman was a much-anticipated event. King's rivals all sought to promote the bout, but King was able to secure the then-record $10 million purse through an arrangement with the government of Zaire. King arranged Ali's 1975 fight against journeyman Chuck Wepner. It is widely believed the fight inspired Sylvester Stallone to write the screenplay for Rocky, 1976. King solidified his position as one of boxing's preeminent promoters the following year with the third fight between Ali and Joe Frazier in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, which King deemed the thriller in Manila. Aside from promoting the premier heavyweight fights of the 1970s, King was also busy expanding his boxing empire. Throughout the decade, he compiled an impressive roster of fighters, many of whom would finish their career with Hall of Fame credentials. Fighters including Larry Holmes, Wilfred Benitez, Roberto Duran, Salvador Sanchez, Wilfredo Gomez, and Alexis Arguello would all fight under the Don King Productions promotional banner in the 1970s. For the next two decades, King continued to be among boxing's most successful promoters. Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Julio Cesar Chavez, Aaron Pryor, Bernard Hopkins, Ricardo Lopez, Felix Trinidad, Terry Norris, Carlos Cerati, Azuma Nelson, Andrew Galota, Mike McCallum, Gerald McClellan, Meldrick Taylor, Marco Antonio Barrera, Tomas Adamek, John Ruiz, and Ricardo Mayorga are some of the boxers who chose King to promote many of their biggest fights. Outside of boxing, he was the concert promoter for the Jacksons' 1984 victory tour. In 1998, King purchased a Cleveland-based weekly newspaper serving the African-American community in Ohio, The Call and Post, and as of 2011 continued as its publisher. King was elected to the Gaming Hall of Fame in 2008. In 2023, he was announced as the financier of the Bome Fight Club in Major League Wrestling. As of 2024, King still promotes world champions and is in talks with Canadian boxing promoter Dan Otter to stage the WBC Cruiserweight world title bout sometime this year. King appeared in the two-part Miami Vice episode, Down for the Count, Season 3, Episodes 12-13, 1987, as Mr. Cash. King acted in a small role as more or less himself in The Last Fight, 1982, and in the comedy Head Office, 1985. He also had another brief cameo as himself in the film The Devil's Advocate, 1997. He also appeared in a Season 4 episode of Knight Rider, titled, Redemption of a Champion. King made an appearance in the documentaries Beyond the Ropes, 2008, and Klitschko, 2011. King appeared in Moonlighting episode Symphony in Knocked Flat, Season 3, Episode 3, 1986, as himself. About Don King House. Don King, the renowned boxing promoter, has owned several properties over the years. Let's explore a couple of them. Don King sold his Manalapan, Florida compound for an impressive $15.9 million. The property features 300 feet of ocean frontage, two residences, two entrances, a gatehouse, a tennis court, two swimming pools, and a cabana. The main house and guest house together boast a whopping 41,030 square feet, with a total of 11 bedrooms and 17 bathrooms. He purchased this three-acre estate in 1999 with his late wife, Henrietta King, for $7.8 million. In Delray Beach, Florida, Don King and his wife once owned another house. Public records indicate that they sold this residence in 2001. Beyond these properties, Don King also owns thousands of acres in various locations, including a boxing training camp. While the Manalapan compound stands out as a luxurious oceanfront estate, it's fascinating to consider the breadth of King's real estate holdings. That is all we have for you today, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up, share to your friends, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe.